This is some footage shot of gobies in their natural habitat underwater in the Philippines. This is a specimen of Cryptocentos leptocephalus. I think it's fascinating how beautifully colored and shaped this fish is. Not only is this a really pretty fish, but it's also engaging in a very interesting symbiosis. So here you can see how it shares a burrow with a shrimp. It's an alpha shrimp, which means that one of its claws is bigger than the other. And the shrimp digs this burrow, which is jointly used by both animals, whereas the goby acts as a watchman, as a guard on the entrance of the, sh of the shrimp burrow. And um, when danger nears uh, the goby signals that tech, with tactile signals to the shrimp and you can see that the shrimp is constantly in touch with the goby by touching it with its antenna so in this particular borough there are actually two shrimp sharing it with a goby and both of them keep in touch with the goby by, by touching it with their antenna Gobies are an extremely diverse family of species. This is a specimen of Oplompus, which is also living in the sand flats near Bolinao in the Pangasinan province of the Philippines. And it was inspecting this burrow. And this, in fact, is also the burrow of a shrimp goby. So I sped up the video here a little bit and uh, you can see that uh, this shrimp goby carefully exits its burrow before it signals to its shrimp that everything is clear and then the shrimp uh, exits the burrow again to excavate what's going on here. So interestingly this this very tight symbiosis between the shrimp and the goby has evolved twice so there are two independent lineages of gobies which have started to live with alpha shrimp and because this is such an extremely beneficial you know mutualistic symbiosis which allows this otherwise you know harmless small non-armored, uh, non-venomous or poisonous animals to live in, in featureless sandy plains where they would otherwise become the prey of larger fish very quickly. But this uh, you shared use of a burrow has uh, turned out to be an extremely successful evolutionary step. and. If you look at such sandy plains, there is very often you see one such burrow every 50 centimeters. And not only that, there is also a large number of species of such shrimp gobies. So this is an individual of Banda uh, Horstia. As the species is not quite clear, uh, that's another thing that's uh, the Gobies are so specious and they are uh, cryptic, so very often they hide, so that there, there are still many species which are discovered all the time. So, uh, barely a year passes without new goby species being discovered. So here again, you see the shrimp goby hovering in front of the burrow and the shrimp working very hard to clear it. So in this close-up, you see how the goby is ventilating uh, with its skill cover to pump oxygenated blood over its gills. This is another goby where you can see this uh, ventilation going on. This is in fact not a shrimp goby. 